when I had a, a smaller boat when I used to sail on my own, um, there was a lot of pressures at work and it was the thing that I could get away, unwind and um, just think about it. And especially after I was diagnosed, um, you know, it was the thing that took my mind off it all. Basically, I like local sailing, I like day sailing really. I, I like to sail to a pub, have a drink, meal. <laughs> Four weeks after being 60, I was diagnosed with uh, advanced prostate cancer. So, you know, they thought probably two years or so. But um, it's been one tremendous bat one battle. There's been some very low times. There's been some, you know, very high moments, you know. Uh, four years ago, I was admitted to the hospice. And I think that changed everything, really, because things were pretty bad at that time. And, uh, yeah, you know, that brought me round. It is an amazing place. And, you know, you feel safe. And the, one of the most important things also is for your family. The, the support they give their family, the whole family, um, is amazing. So it's my second home. Well, I go in every Wednesday for lymphedema treatment with Helen. I see Martha for a bone infusion every three weeks. I don't know how I'm going to be um, when I get up in the morning. So it's try and live every day. I still like to try and get into work if I can. Um, but that is quite a struggle. I don't think I would have um, got the four years without the hospice. The hospice has been there for me when the bad, you know, the real bad times. And you know, I can never repay them for what they've, you know, done for me. They are amazing.